Hey, how's it going on guys? Uh, this is the first episode of my DRF tutorial series. We're gonna learn Django REST framework from scratch to a good level alongside uh, theory and coding for sure. Uh, to be honest, uh, this is very important to set up a Python environment uh, right before we start installing uh, Django REST framework and all that. But if you already know how to set up environment, you can go ahead and start watching episode two of my um, DRF digital series. Now, those who don't know why we need this Python environment, virtual env and all that, at the beginning of any project, you gotta stay with me and continue watching. So first of all, I would like to introduce the concept of the Python environment. We gotta know why we need virtual env in the first place, right? So let's say uh, this is your PC or your system and on this PC you might have been playing around with your Hello World Django project. You might have another project, let's say Office project or maybe you have a Django project uh, that is borrowed from your friend etc etc. Now all these projects can have their own different types of Python packages and libraries, right? Um, so uh, let's say uh, the Hello World project on the left side, um, it has um, Django version 3.0, whereas the uh, project that you borrowed from your friend can have uh, Django uh, version 1.11. So um, trying to run all these Python projects um, on one Python environment makes it likely that version conflicts will occur among those libraries, right? So virtual env is going to keep our python packages in a virtual environment localized to our project instead of forcing us to install our packages like system wide. So now your um, hello world Django project can have its own virtual env and no conflict will happen with another Django project that you borrowed from your friend. So each project uh, is going to have its own virtual env literally so uh, no conflict you know. So hope this concept is clear and now I will uh, show you um, how we can create a virtual env in the windows operating system. You might have also heard about virtual env wrapper. Before creating virtual env we may want to create virtual env wrapper. What happens when we uh, create some virtual envs, it creates environment folders uh, that are kind of like disseminated and spread all over. So virtual env wrapper is, a, is, a, is a, like a utility and the name, as the name suggests, um, this is going to be on the top of all virtual envs which will uh, give us a, like a bunch of um, uh, utilities that allow the environment folders to be created in a single place uh, instead of spreading around everywhere. I will show you uh, that in a second. So the plan is to create virtual env wrapper first and then create virtual env. So now I'm going to go to the uh, terminal and I will show you how to do that. What I'm trying to uh, create here is the virtual env wrapper. So I'm going to open up my command prompt and uh, uh, let me check my Python version quickly. So dash dash version and then I want to also check the p version. Uh, if you don't know what pip uh, is, uh, it stands for uh, Python install packages. So when you install Python, um, it is automatically going to give you this pip, and that pip uh, is going to install packages for us. Make sense? With the help of this pip, so let's say pip install, and I'm going to say um, virtual env um, wrapper and then you have to say win at the end so now this pip is going to install virtual env wrapper for us okay so it is installing okay it is installing all right okay so once we are done um uh, with the uh, installation and uh, then uh, what i can do uh, i i want to go and show you something so if it has installed properly then it would be creating a folder over here but not yet uh, i cannot see it right now what i'm going to do i'm going to create a virtual env now because the wrapper part is done now i have to create the e virtual env so what i'm going to do i'm going to go and say um, make virtual env and the name of the env so let's say my environment name is be like let's say test you can say anything you want and then you just um, hit the enter button and now this virtual env has been created for us um, as you can see on the left side it says env test and we are inside of this environment now okay so this env test environment has been created underneath that wrapper 
I'm gonna prove that to you so let me go to that user folder so I'm inside this local this the uh, C drive and then users and then user and over here if I refresh it I think I should be seeing a folder called ENVS here we go ENVS and if you double click on it you can see uh, there has been a virtual environment has been created inside uh, of this ENVs you know and that ENVS uh, folder so that environment folder so that's the wrapper and inside you have that environment okay so now uh, this environment uh, what do I have inside this environment so let's say if I say P freeze it's gonna show me uh, what I have inside of this uh, environment so what do I have? I'm not gonna have anything because I haven't. Uh, are we gonna wait? Wait. Okay. As you can see, it has nothing inside. If it has something uh, or some packages installed, then it would have shown us uh, the list of um, packages. But uh, for now, it says nothing. Uh, just because we haven't installed anything underneath or inside this environment uh, test. Uh, so uh, let me uh, install something and then we can uh, check back like um, what what happens like when we are inside and outside of this environment so let me install um, so I'm gonna install like peep um, freeze uh, I'm, not, so I'm gonna say peep freeze I'm gonna say peep install um, uh, what I'm gonna install I'm gonna install Django rest uh, framework maybe yeah why not so peep install Django rest framework and this is gonna install uh, Django REST framework inside this env do, uh, under uh, env hyphen test environment. Okay, it is installing. It has completed installing. Um, so uh, now, uh, if I say pip freeze, then you can. It will give us a list like it has. Um, now it has Django REST framework and Django REST framework has a dependency with Django and other uh, packages. So it has actually uh, installed all these packages inside this environment test, okay? What happens if we wanna get out of this environment um, test? So if I said deactivate and now we are out of this environment test. I would like to create another uh, or different environment so let's say we're gonna create Mac virtual ENV and then I want to say ENV test uh, 2 so yeah why not let's create another environment and now we are inside this environment test 2 I want to pip freeze so pip freeze and it says it has nothing inside okay i want to get out of this environment test too so i want to say deactivate and now i'm out of this environment test too i want to get inside the environment test the previous one okay so i'm going to say uh, work on env test and now I'm inside the environment test and I want to check what I have inside and yeah so when we pip freeze um, this environment test uh, we can see that we have some packages installed like Django REST framework Django and other packages but when we pip freeze the environment test 2 we did not have anything inside so uh, yeah and you also uh, uh, probably uh, seen that work on keyword because you gotta use this work on and then the name of the environment to uh, get inside of any environment so yeah that is it uh, I'll see you in the next video thank you bye bye